Godzilla is directed by Gareth Edwards. This is a sci-fi action adventure monster movie. The movie stars Brian Cranston as Joe Brody, Juliet Benenoche as Sandra Brody, Aaron Taylor Johnson as Ford Brody, Elizabeth Olsen as L. Brody, Carson Bold as Sam Brody, Ken Watanabe as Dr. Ishiro Sarazawa, Sally Hawkins as Vivian Graham, David Strahan as Admiral William Stins, and Richard T. Jones as Captain Russell Hampton. Godzilla is rated PG-13 for intense sequences of destruction, mayhem, and creature violence. This is not a movie for children. I would say anyone who is 15 years of age and older uh, would be okay watching this film. The movie has a runtime of two hours and three minutes. Godzilla was released in theaters in the United States on Friday, May 16th, 2014. In 1999, the Janjira nuclear plant in Japan is mysteriously destroyed with most hands lost, including supervisor Joe Brody's colleague and wife, Sandra. Years later, Joe's son Ford, a U.S. Navy Ordnance Disposal Officer, must go to Japan to help his estranged father, who obsessively searches for the truth of the incident. In doing so, father and son discover the disaster's secret cause on the wreck's very grounds. This enables them to witness the reawakening of a terrible threat to all of humanity, a MUTO, Massive Unidentified Terrestrial Organism. The MUTO escapes where the agency monarch has been trying to keep it in stasis. The MUTO that escaped is a male and is very fast and can fly. During its escape, it causes all sorts of destruction and Joe Brody gets injured badly and he eventually dies. Ford is in shock and tries desperately to get back to his wife, Elle, and his young son, Sam. Things get worse with a second secret revival of another MUTO elsewhere. The second MUTO is a female. Against the cataclysm, the only hope for the world is Godzilla, a huge alpha predator lizard-like creature. But even for Godzilla, the challenge will be great against two MUTOs. That is pretty much the summary of this film, Godzilla. Now here are my negatives for the film. So this film is titled Godzilla. However, we see very little of Godzilla. We maybe get two or three good shots of him in the film. We maybe see a total of 10 minutes of Godzilla in the film, and that's pretty much it. We see plenty of the Mutos. There's too much human story in this film and not enough Godzilla, and that was pretty much disappointing in my book. The film is very dark, and I don't mean the tone is dark, I mean the film is dark, almost black. In certain scenes and sequences, it's hard to see what is actually happening in the film because of how dark it is. It reminded me of uh, the film Alien vs. Predator Requiem. That film was very dark as well. The film even had false advertising in the trailers and TV spots to promote the film. During the trailers, it makes it seem as though Brian Cranston's character is going to be the main protagonist of the film, when in fact, that's not the case at all. The fight scenes between the creatures is not that great. The film's editing is very choppy, and during the fight scenes, it is all over the place. So those are my negatives for the film. Here are my positives. The acting is really good. The characters are good. The best performances were from Brian Cranston as Joe Brody and Elizabeth Olsen as L. Brody, Aaron Taylor Johnson as Ford Brody, Sally Hawkins as Vivian Graham, and Ken Watanabe's Dr. Ishiro Surazawa. The visual effects are amazing looking. The score is good, but I thought it could have been better. And that's all my positives, so now it's grading time. I'm going to give Godzilla a C. This film does have some rewatchability value to it. What is really weird about this film is that Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen's characters are married in the film, and in 2015, they both starred together in the Marvel film Avengers Age of Ultron as Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, and Pietro Maximoff, Quicksilver. They are twin brother and sister. It's just really weird how at first they are a married couple, and then in another movie, they are brother and sister. And what's funny about these is these two films came out less than a year apart from each other. So, yeah, it was just weird to me. 
I did not see this movie in theaters, but I do own this movie on Blu-ray and DVD, so I do have it in my collection. The way the film is and how dark it was, I'm kind of glad I didn't see it in theaters because I would have just gotten pissed and probably walked out of the theater. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to say good night. God bless. I love all of you, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.